Hey guys, today I'm going to be working on this gray canvas panel. It looks very fancy and pretty and I wanted to uh, paint with some nice bold colors. I was thinking of using the Liquitex acrylic gouache for this. The thing that I love about the Liquitex acrylic gouache in particular is it has this really great flat matte finish that doesn't have any shine or shimmer to it whatsoever. It's very beautiful. So in that way it functions as gouache, but it dries plastic so that it doesn't re-wet when you put new layers over it. So it works functionally as acrylic. So it works like acrylic, but it looks like gouache and it's really pretty and it's kind of perfect and I wouldn't change a thing about it. <laughs> and it works really well on this canvas panel. I didn't um, gesso it or anything ahead of time because I wanted to keep some of the look of the canvas panel on it. That's what made me want to use it and that why would I cover the whole thing up? I could just use a regular canvas panel in that case. I kind of feel the same way about wood surfaces too. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm painting a, a picture of a gray sheep because um, I wasn't really sure what to do with this canvas panel, but I've been closely following uh, the Minecraft playthrough on Felix's channel, uh, PewDiePie, just because I've always I've always been a low-key fan of Minecraft, <laughs> and I play it off and on, not you know aggressively, but because I don't really like to spend too much time making virtual things when I can make things in real life. And I don't really watch a lot of video game playthroughs anymore, but I have been watching this one just because one, it's um, a game that I like and the way his videos are edited makes them really fun and like, like a narrative episodic show, so I've been really into it. And so I just decided to paint a picture of Watcher Sheep on this panel for fun. Is this technically fan art? I don't know. Maybe. I would have loved to have done it in the Minecraft art style as well, sort of, but um, I couldn't really make a decision so I just kind of went with my instincts. I painted a semi-realistic type of sheep. One thing I think I should probably mention is that I am using these paint brushes that I got from the dollar store. Um, they had a really nice looking set of cheap paint brushes at the dollar store and a lot of people will buy paint brushes from there because we know our limitations, we know that we aren't going to take particularly great care of our brushes so we get the cheapest ones available, right? Like I'm not the only person who does this. <laughs> um, Especially for something like this, which is an acrylic based paint, which could wreak horrible havoc on the paint brushes if you even rest up for one minute. So I tend to avoid using my watercolor brushes when using acrylic paint. These are made of nylon and they have a really good spring to them, so that's why I like them. I really like to do a video about paint brushes really soon. The brushes I have in mind are in my cart and I'm going to buy them as soon as I become brave enough because paint brushes are expensive so uh, but that's something that I want to do for sure because I just especially doing something like this lately I've been thinking about how I don't really have a variety of paint brushes I tend to use one size for everything, which is okay until it isn't.
So for the watcher part of the watcher sheep, <laughs> um, I'm making a bunch of squares in the background. I sketch them out first, just using the width of a ruler and a light pencil crayon. You can kind of see them from here, just as a guideline. I'm not filling all of them in, I'm just sort of keeping it sporadic so that I don't cover up the whole canvas. You'll notice that I'm also only using three colors total. With three colors, if they're primaries, you can make any color that you could ever dream of. Um, you could save a lot of money buying art supplies that way. All you need is three primary colors and a white. I'm using a craft paint in black just to neutralize the tone a little bit so, it, so I can get a sort of grayed tone to any color that I make. Black is the fastest way to do that. It's not necessarily the best way to do that, but it's fast. And I think it looks good. I'm liking all the colors that I'm getting just with this one blue paint. And why is Water Sheep a Water Sheep if you're not watching <laughs> the playthrough? It's it's just an inside joke. This, this sheep was stuck in a patch of water and so it, it just kind of trapped in there. It's a tragic story. Water sheep has died. Coming in with my Colero set, I have a bunch of these. These are the one things that I will spend so much money on <laughs> without a second thought really. These metallic watercolors are amazing. I love the way they look. They do some great, um, just extra details. Something that makes it look interesting. And I was live streaming this, so the last little bit of this painting is blurry. I'm so sorry. That is such a <laughs> newbie thing to do, but I don't know exactly what happened. I didn't- I did all this in one sitting. I didn't change anything. I don't know. I must have touched my camera. I actually uh, broke the connection or there's something wrong with my camera where I can't actually- it doesn't focus on anything. It has to be done manually. So everything's on manual focus. So if I tap it, maybe I just knocked it out of focus. So silly. But I'm just painting some poppies in here so that water sheep can finally be at peace after a horrible, horrible life. <laughs> and there's a close up on it, you can see. I really love this canvas panel, the way it looks. And I love, I just loved, the whole process of it was really great. <laughs> 